this, uh, this thing does not crawl along. But the difference between day one and day two, it's astounding. When he first got on it on Sunday yeah, and we went to go get our credential, I had to walk baby steps because he was just Real inching slow. along yeah. trying to get used to it. And right. then by the time we were on our way back, He's in the middle of the street, right? You know, doing donuts around, just going crazy. So yeah, he has the he has the feel of it right now. On the way back, I took the trolley path rather than go on the sidewalk. <laughs> right, the trolley path up the street. <laughs> Not gonna hurt me. All right, you boys ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right, Ugh. Corby. This is from KL Pickens. The wheels on the bus go round and round. What about the smell? So, Norma, I don't know the furthest you have gone on a bus. 23 hours is my personal record. The smell is bad. It's poor. Really? At best. Um, it doesn't go away. And there was a guy sitting right in front of me the entire trip, 23 hours, who smelled really bad the second that he got on the bus. And anytime he moved, anytime he shifted positions – it wafted back at me. Oh. The good news is, after 10 hours, I got used to it, just like anything else. Was this guy uh, and all the way to Phoenix passenger? He was. Oh. Directly in front of me oh. within a foot and a half. The whole time. The whole time. Okay. Never, oh. ever got out of that seat. And I've been on a bus trip before, but it wasn't like a Greyhound Trailways type of deal. It was like, you know, you're with a school trip or something. Like, we took yeah. a trip to Atlanta on a chartered bus we took a trip to tennessee on a bus so i've been on one for a while but not yeah you know, but not I mean, with all the stops like we just go straight through yeah, yeah and i've done the church bus to colorado and things right. like that or the church bus to oklahoma and your friends are typically on there right right and yeah. so it's a lot Playing different video games yeah and all that. yeah listening yeah. to eddie murphy or something like that but and uh, and your friends an typically shower <laughs> uh typically yes they do uh, Z for the win. If you were being held hostage, which form of torture would you be most afraid of? Norm. Waterboarding, because I see it so often in the pictures, and, and every time it makes my skin crawl. Well, see, waterboarding, I think, looks... It doesn't look as bad as it actually is. Right, it really doesn't. Like, he's like, what's the problem? And I'll bet you it's the worst thing in the entire world. Yeah. I always fear, like, two people holding your arms and everything exposed, and then someone's just punching you in the gut, oh, yeah. like, over and over, like, Doo! how about having your fingernails pulled out? Yeah. Oh. Any, oh. Anything Anything that kind of continues on and on and on. Yeah, like somebody replaying Caddyshack over and over. <laughs> I'll tell you everything I know. So sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. From D.D. Pope, D.D.D. Pope, which ticket host do you think has the biggest balls, figuratively, Norm? <laughs> And which ticket host is the quickest to back down from a confrontation? It's interesting you say that, DDD Pope, because last night, Norm, you missed Donovan. <laughs> is this a media party story? Yeah. Like, I hadn't seen him or talked to him much. And then I walk over to him, and we're like 45 minutes in. And I go, hey, man, how's it going? And he looks out into the distance staring not at me and he goes i'm good man I'm good <laughs> and then i'm like do you want to me get you a drink or anything no 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 i'm good i'm good and he is looking out scanning the entire crowd looking like he's getting ready to beat ass i was on a rampage last night man I go, what is wrong with you and like five minutes later i hear jake go dude are you trying to fight someone what's happening here <laughs> he was that way with everyone he was ready to fight, and we don't know why. You're I in a weird mood. I, I was. think the guy most likely to back down is George because he's such a kind soul. To back down? Yeah, and he no. doesn't. No. I think George, if if I had to pick someone that let's go to war, let's go, let's strap him, strap him up, and the on, say and something on. else. Yep, and let's go. Then I think I'd pick George. I think the one that may back down. <laughs> No, no, Corby would okay, back down. Corby would be fine. 
Dan has always considered himself pretty passive. I yeah. do wonder, like, if it's hitting the fan, will he go and throw down? Yeah. I kind of feel he'll chill. Yeah, I kind of do. Too. Try to stop. Then he wants no part of it. Right, right. Like and he he would rather get his ass kicked than join in the fight. Right. And just end it like ah, I got beat up. <laughs> I think everyone else is pretty much down for it. Yeah, I and think, I think so. especially Norm. Yeah, and especially if he fought Ham. And he has weapons. You know, he has the rascal. He can right. run over somebody. He has right. the, the cane, cane, the Walker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Norm thinks that you. I'm sorry, Donovan thinks Norm that you literally could kick the living crap out of three quarters of the staff just with you standing there in your cane. If I could use my cane, I could do some damage because cane wood across your shin causes pain. Right, it hurts. But we're talking we the, the one thing though, it was ham. Yeah. And why are you taking ham in a fight against anyone? The more I get to know ham, the less I am uh leaning in on him. I was trying to tell you guys, we argued how many Super Bowls ago? Like, we had a <laughs> legit argument yeah, about Yeah, it was that. in Miami. Okay, yeah, it was. Yeah. We had a whole playlet set up and, yeah, everything. <laughs> but the first one was who has the biggest balls? Yeah, I think, like, the uh, the guy that would square up against, oh, not oh, like, yeah. Because I was going to say, that definitely is Norm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I would say that's, that's right. They grow as you the, get older. That's throwing me under the bus. But we don't want to use that phrase. Anymore. No, we don't. We don't. We've we've ended that phrase. <laughs> uh, let's see. How many times have y'all, mostly Corby, been close to getting kicked out of media night at the Super Bowl? That's from Sean. Yeah, that's all. That's all you because I don't think we've been close. Ever. Yeah, I got in trouble a couple of years ago, but that's really the only time. Mostly people are cool. And no one's out there, like, looking to scrap or anything. I got in trouble because we were in Houston, and Ty Walker has a run of jokes about the Challenger yep. explosion. space shuttle explosion. Oh, mm-hmm. those have to be popular. Yeah, and so we were in Houston at Space Central at NASA, and I dropped a few of those. And, oh. and the player went immediately to security and said, I'm uncomfortable with that okay, guy's line of question. Yes. And they put me in a room. Because I asked space shuttle joke questions. Yeah, but not just any space shuttle joke questions. The Challenger. <laughs> that's but, not that's the only one. But what about the times like at the <laughs> halftime press conference? Have you been close to being kicked out then? Or do they just come kind of grab the mic out of your hand? Or Yeah, but those aren't like offensive. They're just trying to be funny. Right, you know, right. they were never like offensive or anything like that. Like, what was the Super Bowl where... Uh, I grabbed the chair and we were about to uh, go. Wasn't that a nasty, nasty Nestor type of deal? Where yeah, it was like yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Kind of an olive branch was halfway being extended. Oh, and I thought it was go time at the one media part. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if we were close to being kicked out. No. But if I would have swung the chair wrestler style, then I think we would have. You always want to live on the edge. Right. You want right. to be right there on the edge. Right. I remember the morning I tried to go over to Nasty. This is 10 years ago or so to make peace. Yeah. Because he knew me and I thought he liked me a little bit, respected me a little bit. So I'm going over to try to make peace. No. Yeah. That was not happening. Yeah. Is he here? I don't think so. I don't so. think he does thought, this anymore, yeah, does he? I heard the uh, muses talking his about that. Right? got revoked by the Ravens. Oh, oh wow. Therefore, the no. NFL revoked his credentials as well. Oh, dear. That was a good run. Uh, from Walter, how far would you make it if you climbed up the outside of a skyscraper like the guy did yesterday? So that is free climbing, right? Yeah, that is impossible unless you are like a skilled. Did you see the video of this, Norm? Oh, yes. Unless you're like a skilled rock climber, you got no effing shot. I have no chance. Something like that. Yeah. And that guy could probably, if you said, go run. 50 miles right now, he could do that. Like, his cardio shape is unbelievable. But it took him an hour to go up. I, there's no way. No, there's I, I no would, way. I wouldn't make it past the lobby. I can hardly make it up ramps. And his rascal. I know, I know. I wonder if his rascal would, like, go straight up. <laughs> and put enough speed up. Yeah. There. He's just going straight <laughs> the up. The little he ramp. Like to the third, yeah, third floor, yeah. and then all of a sudden he's going back down. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. From Lindsay, if you uh, were in picks with friends this year and lost, which host would you choose to ride with you on the bus? You can't pick Junior. What? Why can't you pick Junior? I don't know. Uh, also, Corby, would you do a 23-hour bu- bus trip or spend five hours in the DFW bus station? <laughs> Boy, that's a good one. That is a good one. <clears throat> so Donovan was with me in the bus station, and it's a uh, it's a scene, man, at midnight especially. So maybe if I was able to do noon to five in the bus station, I would do it. No, 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 no. We get to choose those hours, buddy. So like 11 midnight to 4. To five. Midnight to 5 a.m. You get the overnight shift. Or you take the bus. Can I ask a question about that? Those moments in the bus station. Yeah. It was especially cold that evening. Bus stations have over the years had problems being havens for homeless people when it's cold. Yeah. Did you feel that was happening? I almost felt like they were pretty much all passengers going somewhere. It didn't look like it. I'm not quite sure. Okay. But yeah, it's just, it's been known forever downtown that the bus station on Lamar and that McDonald's that's on Griffin is pretty much the downtown hood. And someone, if you don't have to go, you try to stay away from. I remember working at the bank uh, when I was in high school and I had to work on Sundays and the only place open to get anything to eat when I had my break was the McDonald's on Griffin. And I walked there a couple of times by myself as a 15 year old in high school and was like, I don't think this Big Mac is worth me yeah. walking out of here and just walking back. So, Dude. yeah, it's it's rough down there, man. The downtown hood. But it's not it, like it's like that whole area is not bad. It's just the bus station. Right. It's so weird. The- but I will never, ever, ever, ever in my life forget when Donovan walked in <laughs> and I'm in there at the kiosk trying to get my bags checked in by myself. And I look at him, and he looks at me, and I kind of shake my head. He goes, fun and games are over, buddy boy, aren't they? <laughs> were you? Were it's, not, you? it's not that bad. It's not that bad. The look on your face when I walked in was like, oh, now it's hitting him. It's oh, hitting him right in the face. God. Have you ever been happier to see Donovan? <laughs> I actually was very happy to see him. Oh. And all I wanted to do was get on the bus right. to get out of the station. But you're an hour and a half from uh, from take from takeoff, from uh, from the bus leaving. So you had to. You had to wait. Corby waiting in the bus station was my favorite part of the whole thing. Brutal. Corby, thank you. Is that it? That was it. That's it. That was great. We'll see if you want to continue to do that. That was Let's see if we'll make this fun. a little pattern. All right. A little fun time uh, pattern. All right. All right. Let's get with the hang zone. We'll do that next here on the ticket. <laughs> 